what's going on you guys so today's video is going to be about my 2008 dodge charger as you guys can see i have not been able to upload any videos to my youtube and the reason why is because my engine broke down due to a bad uh, timing belt when the timing belt broke it actually caused so much damage to the top of my engine which as you guys can see i got my cylinder heads off already uh, they're actually already resurfaced and they put the new valves in the intake and the exhaust uh, which you guys can see they cleaned it up also on the top they replaced the uh, thrust washers uh, for the valves and uh, that's the same springs and the little uh, lock on the top they're the same ones because they say that it did not need it to be replaced so today's video is actually going to be about um, I'm going to put this camshaft back in place as you guys can see this one is already back in its place I'm gonna put my hand in here and I'm gonna turn it. You guys can see that it turns nice and smooth just using like two fingers basically. And I already got the torque over here. Now in the back, if you guys come over here, in the back there's gonna be a plate which is called a camshaft housing plate. Now if you guys get it mixed up, it says in the back this side out and it's also up like this. So if you guys come over here, on the paper, they actually call it the uh, camshaft thrust plate bolt. It's supposed to be 250, so we have uh, 250 inch pounds. Now they do not have it for a foot pound, so they got Newton meters, which is 28. Now this one, it only goes up to 220, but the good thing about the this ratchet right here is that you guys can like keep turning this and it goes all the way up to 250. So now, that we got this done we're gonna come over here and i'm gonna set you guys up here so you guys can see how i slide that camshaft in okay so this camshaft is actually already clean i actually pulled it out already from the cylinder head just because i wanted to show you guys how i uh, i put it in it's so easy so first thing i'm gonna turn this this way and then you're also gonna need some oil because you need to lubricate the cam camshaft before it goes in so the main ones you have to lubricate is like where the main bearings is going to be sitting on the head so it's going to be this one that one this one and that one so there's only three of them let's go ahead and loop them up you don't have to put a lot you can just like get your finger you know enough like wet and then like just slide it on the uh, bearings i guess that's what you will call and then if you want to you can do the same thing right over here on the cylinder head to every single one of them there you go and then uh, once it's in you grab your camshaft and then you slide it from this side. Now also, you one thing that you guys are gonna notice is that over here, so it, there's like no seal right here, but on the other side, there is a seal that prevents the oil from leaking. So you slide the camshaft in like very uh, slowly. Make sure you don't hit the camshaft like too much. If, if, you, have, you have, uh, if you have any trouble putting it in, then I uh, just like, like turn it like up and down or like or like turn it so it can go in but you should not be able to have a hard time pushing it in there you go try not to scratch it too much Let's see when i have a little bit of trouble i just turn it and it goes right in so i'm on the very last one now there you go as you guys can see it's all the way in now so if i come over at the end and hold it it's gonna turn it should turn nice and easy so now that it's in we're gonna hold this camshaft housing gasket and i'm gonna lift this up a little and lower you guys down so Maybe so like this and then as you guys can see this actually has a um, 
um, it has a written over here this side is out and it has an arrow facing up so this is actually how it goes so you're gonna have to line this gasket in the back also with the holes because it doesn't really match with you know if you try to put it either or you have to find really the right way to you know put it on which in this case it would be like this now it doesn't really matter if you put it in like this or you turn it the other way it really don't matter but uh, I guess if you want you can put like the the clean you know face towards the cylinder head then you slide the bolts in here and you can try to turn it it will take a little bit more time just try to turn it with your hand or you guys can put it in hold the gasket down and just push it in just try not to break the gasket there you go so this side up is going to go over here and then just start it by twisting it with your fingers Now you do not need to use a, uh, a, a impact or a drill. The drill, you know, the 3 8 one, you, don't, you do not have to use that. You have to use the small quarter inch ratchet and then just finish it up. Now get it enough to where it's like nice and snug. Don't tighten it all the way because we're gonna finish it up with the 3 8 uh, torque, you know, ratchet. So now we have the torque ratchet over here. And if you guys can see, I have it all the way past. Now I'm gonna push it down. And if you guys pay close attention over here, I got it set to 200. So since I have it set at 200, I'm gonna set it at 200 right now. I'm just gonna click. Click to 200. I'm gonna do the other one. 200. 200. So now I'm gonna keep turning it to 10 more. That's 210. 220. 230. 240, 250. There we go. I'm gonna do the other two. 250, 250. There you go. Now, if I hold the end of the camshaft, you guys will see it turning. See how it turns nice and easy. So now this is actually how you guys um, will put the camshaft housing gasket, and then you guys know the specs. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be showing you guys more videos on uh, you know till I get this done. <laughs>